Happy Canada Day, uh, July 1st, Canada Day. By the time you get this video, it'll be like July 15th anyway. No one cares about Canada, because right now we're all breathing the detritus of the Canada uh, 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 wildfires. Yes, yeah, so that's how much Canada thinks about the United States. They'll light a bunch of woods on fire and then let all the smoke come down here. Darn Canucks. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Um, today's like day 131, maybe 132 on the trail. I'm not really not sure. I'm taking a zero today because, uh, yeah, yesterday trying to go 11 miles, I felt whooped. So it's a zero day today. If you can see, well, this is my tent back here, but we've got, um, it's a big group of, uh, uh, Jewish campers who are out for a few days doing a section of the Appalachian Trail, which is really neat. And they've actually been very friendly, which is not a surprise, you know. Anyway, no, but they've been very friendly. It's like 20 or 25 people though. So it's actually a welcome change because they are day hikers or section hikers. And I'm starting to get, you know, tired of seeing through hikers all the time because through hikers, I don't know, they just get on my nerves. Really. Like I even get on my nerves sometimes. Like I don't even want to look at myself in the mirror because I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but it is time to go down to get water. And I hear it's it's like a trek through the desert to to this water source, like 300 steps, not 300 footsteps, 300 staircase steps down to the water source, which I hear is flowing very well. The problem is, though, getting to it. So I have emptied my backpack out, if you can see, and I filled it up with nothing but bottles and bags. And I'm going down to fill up and then come back. Wish me luck. If I don't make it back, I died at the water source. Zero. I went down and got the water. Uh, this said 300 steps. It was more than just 300 steps. Like there was ground in between the steps I had to walk on. Whew. That was a whole hiking for a day just to go get water. But I'm back relaxing, reading Blue Highways. One day I'll eventually finish it. I've been working on this book since Damascus. I got this book in Damascus. Yeah, I've had it for a while. Um, But I the author... Oh, you see a mosquito? I hear one. Uh, but the author, let me see, I'll let me pull up his name. Uh, William Least Heat Moon. He is now, he started in Missouri, went east, then went south into like the south, and then went to Texas, over to Nevada, and then he went north into like Washington. Then he came back across the Great Plains and the Midwest and the Great Lakes. And now he's in New York and the New England. Oh, there's a spider. I'll see the spider. Mm -hmm. mm, there he is. Mm -hmm. All right. But now he's in the, the Northeast. And he just left a town called Woodstock, New Hampshire, which is very close to the Appalachian Trail. And, and William Moon even mentions the Appalachian Trail going near the town. So I remember, if y'all can remind me, remind me when we get up to New Hampshire, I want to look for Woodstock, New Hampshire, and and the author he stays in a it's called a a tourist or a vacation house or like a bed and breakfast, and it's called oh man, I don't remember. Anyway, when I go to 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 Woodstock, New Hampshire, I want to look for this bed and breakfast. The only thing is the author released, he published this book in the 1980s and that was, you know, 40 years ago. Yeah. So I don't know if the, the tourist house is going to be there anymore, but it's neat to read about someone who's been, who, who travels near the White Mountains and the Adirondacks and the Northern Appalachians. And that's where I'm heading. I'll be there in a month or so. Well, not a month. It will be there soon. Hmm. Anyway, well, y'all stay tuned. Eventually, I will finish this book, Blue Highways, and give you a book review. It's just I'm taking my time. I get distracted sometimes. <laughs> 